Hello, this is Astro Breeze, and I want to share a little video with you on the United States' chart on the uh, the assassination attempt day of Donald, Donald Trump on the 13th on Saturday. I think this is interesting because this is something that's affected not only the United States, but the world. And I wanted to use the United States chart, which we have in the center, and then the current transits or transits for Saturday were on the outer outer wheel. So a few things that notice. We have the sun, the transiting sun at 21 Cancer, about to go over Mercury. So we have some big communication, some large communication in affecting something, you know, uh, to the depths, something that's family, something that's our home. You know, uh, communication about our home, a big event here with the sun going over Mercury. We have Venus going over North Node. Venus, what we like and value in in dramatic Leo coming from the heart. You know, our hearts now are aligned toward the North Node in Leo or his uh, United States. I think this event is aligning more people together. I think that it, it, despite the efforts of the deep state trying to divide our country, this shows me that I think this is going to be the opposite effect. This is going to help unite our country. Venus is what we like. It's in passionate, dramatic, of the heart, happy. I'm a bonfire. Everybody dance and sing around me. Leo going over the United States North Node. That is big. All right. These two things, sun over Mercury, communication, big communication, Venus, North Node. Um, we are getting a more aligned with what our country is all about. And then we also have the South Node, the transiting South Node going over United States is Saturn. Like it's a few, just four degrees away in, in Libra. So South Node, Saturn, South Node is where we we have to get rid of things or where things are taken from us. And thank goodness it's four degrees away. Um, you know, in Saturn, Saturn is where things get diminished, where things are um, reduced, you know, and it's, it's, it's a bit away, but still, I mean, four degrees is still pretty close. So there's, you know, a sense of loss, a sense of um, something that could be something dear could be taken, you know, um, and again, the the sun and the and Mercury are showing communications, are showing the truth in communications. We've been lied to. Things are starting to come out. And then we have, um, where is the other one? I want to see. We've got near Moon, Libra, twenty one degrees, squaring over to the sun. So why a bit wide square? And it's squaring bit wide square, a little bit closer over to United States's um, Mercury. So moon feelings, you know, the moon, um, and the, this was just going through the sign that day. And I think, do I have it at the time? I think this was a little bit before. But anyway, the moon going in Libra would be squaring everything in, in the United States's Cancer, you know, um, everything that's in the sign of Cancer the United States has with the moon there. So the moon is triggering that day. Moon going over, going right over United States. Saturn, serious, something serious, emotional issue. You know, the moon was, it travels, what, uh, 12 degrees in a day. So as it was going through, it made that conjunction over to Saturn. And then it's making squares to United States Venus and Sun and um, Jupiter. So Venus, what we love, you know, we love our country, Jupiter large it's a large country it affects people around the whole world on a family uh, you know we take in people we help and then the sun there so there is you know this this it got stirred up it, this discrepancy this stuff got stirred up and then we have the the pluto return you know the transiting pluto now in aquarius just passing the united states is pluto in in capricorn and it you know retrograding back so it's going to kind of rub it up, rub up to it and, and kind of hit it again. Um, Pluto, Pluto, you know, we've never experienced that. We never will as a person. So just countries. But this is when there's a renewal. Every country that's had its Pluto return has had. That's been the time of upheaval. That's been the time of revolt. 
That's been the time where the people have have taken down the tyrannical, um, whatever you want to call these people. I mean, there's many names, but the tyrants, let's just put it that way, people that um, don't have you and me um, in mind. You know, it's their club and you ain't in it kind of thing, as George Carlin said. So anyway, this is just going to going to bring and then going to bring up more rebellion against this because Pluto is, you know, is in um, Aquarius right now. And I think even though when it slips back into Capricorn, it still has that rebellious tendency. I think we might feel um, I think we might see a surge of um, regimentation, you know, of old establishment coming back when it goes back into Capricorn. But we this rebellious this you know it's like i see you i've seen what you've done it's not going to go away you cannot put the genie back in the bottle and it's you know when it gets direct it's going to go over the united states south node you know this is coming up in the next year or two when it transits over to the united states south node a, a depth of of getting rid of stuff we've got to get rid of a lot of rot and corruption basically what this is what what this means to me you know, and that's all, that, that's all just, that's all fine in my book. <laughs> Get rid of this rot and corruption that's undermining our, one, our wonderful country. And a leader for the world has to happen. It's here. What else do we have? Um, let's look around here. It's kind of wide. 29, nothing there. North node, 10 degrees. Well, we got a north node square to the sun. You know, it just squared it because it keeps, you know, they go retrograde. So north node square. So we it's, it's making a change in direction of how the United States is ego or energy is. You know, we're being undermined. It's a it, it's um, being undermined from within, you know, with the squares there. Mm hmm. All right. Coming up here. What else do we got? We've got Jupiter, transit Jupiter going over Uranus. You know, it, it just went over Uranus. So we've got some big uh, sudden things, big things happening. Jupiter, Uranus. Um, did I kind of hit on everything else? I got most of it. So anyway, this is a big deal. This is a, this is kind of a critical day with the United States as well. And it's interesting to see things like this when you look in the charts of of uh, presidents, leaders, important people um, into the chart of the United States because they're representing us right now. And um, yeah, this is very interesting. Okay, I hope that shares some light on some things. And again, you know, we're seeking truth. We're we're seeking answers. We're We're investigating. We're not just taking people on mainstream media's word for it because they're all being fed the same lies. You can turn one channel to the other and they're saying the same script. You know, and this is what I think most people um, are waking up to. We haven't, the United States isn't stupid. We've just been asleep. And uh, this is, this is an interesting time. So say prayers for the United States, say prayers to the world. And uh, talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.